Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, Advice to Think Twice. Um, we are doing August tarot scopes and this is going to be for Taurus. Someone rising Venus signs, okay? Now, as always, just keep in mind the readings are general, take what resonates, um, and be sure to watch all your signs. Hopefully everyone's doing well. I can't believe it's August already. Well, let's jump in, have a look what is going on for Taurus in the month of August. 2020. Okay, there we go. Current situation, Ten of Cups, the challenge, Ten of Swords. Okay, so dealing with some difficult endings. In the foundation, the Five of Cups, crowning you, the Eight of Wands, in the past, the Three of Pentacles, and the outcome, Death. Okay, Taurus. Well, Six Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Whatever is ending is ending because it's meant to with the death card because it's not fair to you. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by saying that. Um, Ten of Cups in the current situation with the Ten of Swords is a challenge means the situation you've been in has now become a dead-end situation. And for others, it means it's already happened. The ending has happened already. Um, but you're still with the Five of Cups. You're still thinking, but what if, you know, but what if this and what if that? What if there's more to it? What if it's not over? What if I can still do something? Okay, I'm seeing this as what if energy. Eight of Wands crowning you is either you want to send messages or messages are coming in for you. Um, but this is also, I'm seeing this as anger, okay? In the past, the Three of Pentacles, I see this as um, either too many people involved or um, working for something by yourself, okay? Working towards something that should be a common goal with another person or, you know, whether it's in a personal sense or business sense, whatever. Um, but you were you were in it alone, okay? The, the issue was cooperation or lack thereof. That is what is ending in your life. So I can see that this is a situation that you've tried really, really hard to fix. You have been working on it for a really long time. You've been trying your best, okay? Trying and failing, trying and failing, trying and failing. Um, but that is because you are the only one trying. I have to be honest here, okay? You are the only one trying. Whether the other person told you that, yeah, they want the same thing, but they weren't doing anything about it, or you were dealing with empty promises after empty promises after empty promises. If it were up to you, you would have struggled to end this. That is why the death card is showing up. There is an external ending happening. So either the situation just goes away, the person just disappears, someone else puts an end to it, whatever the case may be. There's an external ending, but it's because it's what needs to happen. And I feel like you know this, but you have been struggling to end this situation. Okay, so when the death card energy comes in, basically just let it happen. Okay, just let it happen. Trust that it's, it, it's I can see it's a difficult situation. Okay, so I'm not just saying, oh, just let it happen. It's what needs to happen. I know what it's like, okay, to be in a situation where you know that it's probably going to happen, but you're still hoping and you're still in it. Um, but try to, I don't know what the word is, entertain the possibility that th this is really for the best. Whether it just, you know, it, it doesn't, it really doesn't feel like it in the moment or you can't see how, but trust that it's for the best. The hangman, yeah, it's kept you stuck for a really long time. And you've really given everything you, you had to this. And you're still, you've still been stuck, okay? Why? Because you were trying to pull the weight of several people or two people by yourself. That's why. It, that's why it was a dead-end situation. It was never going to go anywhere or anywhere good when it was just you doing the work. Yeah, the knight of pentacles, the other person dragging their feet absolutely dragging their feet okay I mean they should have been doing the work 
And the foundation with the Five of Cups, we have the Moon. So a lot of empty promises. A lot of high hopes for this is also what I'm getting. You might also have been dealing with the Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Making empty promises. Giving chance after chance after chance and they keep disappointing you. Three of Pentacles. Ooh, okay then. In the past, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been thinking about giving up on this for quite a while. Because you see that it's not going anywhere. You see that it's not okay. You know that it's not right. You know that it's not fair. But I feel like this person is, you know, has kept making more and more promises and somehow keep, you know, keeping you stuck or keeping you from moving on or keeping you from leaving. I also see this as the energy of a divorce that has been moving very, very slowly. And you just want to be done with it. Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups in the crowning position. All the communication, all the messages, everything that's been going on back and forth. The Seven of Cups, it's illusion energy. And you have the Seven of Cups in your crowning thoughts and you have the moon in your foundation. So you see through the lies. You know these are lies. You know these. this is you know trying to be manipulation. You know that these are empty promises. And while you were willing to give it a chance in the past and to entertain it, now you know that it, it's it. That's it, you know? With the death card. That's why you can no longer put off this ending. And that's why you can no longer hope that there's more here. That there's still something else that you can try. Judgment. You see the truth. Okay. I know it's bad. I've been in these types of situations. I know it's bad. I know it's painful. I also know that as soon as we accept that, hold on, what if this is the best thing that could happen? Um, we start to see how it's a good thing that it happened. And we also start to see new options and new possibilities. So the difficult part is actually accepting that this could be the end, you know? And it's probably for the best. That's the difficult part. So let's see. Three of Swords. Current situation. Yeah, feeling stuck, feeling betrayed. Because of the empty promises. And for yourself as well, you're at the point where you're saying, okay, well, I kept giving them chance after chance after chance kind of hoping every time that they would do something with it, you know, take it somewhere. But you've come to the point where you're like, okay, seriously, how many chances can I give? I mean, seriously. You know, you can't make excuses for them anymore. You can't, you know what I mean? So you're also with the Three of Swords kind of dealing with the situation where you're beating yourself up about it as well. But, you know, you've done what you needed to do when you needed to do it. So try not to beat yourself up. You've done your best with the situation and that's what it was necessary for you to do this and to go through everything in order to accept this ending when it comes because you're like you know what actually i've tried everything i've got i got nothing else i this is the only other option i got so just let it go you know what i mean nine of cups nine of pentacles ten of swords yeah something that it was promise after promise after promise of fulfillment of joy of happiness of money of promotion whatever this is and then it just never came to be you were always left waiting and waiting and waiting. The Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, the Moon, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, something very, very fleeting. Something very uh, temperamental is also what I'm getting. A lot of talk, not enough action. Or n no action, okay? And this is also saying that you might have been dealing with someone who was never going to commit, who was afraid of commitment from the get-go. Uh, someone who likes their freedom, someone who is never going to give up their freedom, or just someone who's very selfish. With the Nine of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, Temperance card, waiting, waiting, waiting. Yep. Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. Empty promises. People getting away with things. But it's funny because you, you saw them do it, so it's not like they were really getting away with things. They thought they were. But you were like, I see what you're doing. What are you doing? I see what you're doing. But again, you just kind of allowed it to unfold just to see where it would go. You know, just to see what they would do with that opportunity that you gave them. 
And they did the same thing every time. Death, Judgment, and the Empress. This is confirmation that it's happening for your highest good. When you are free from this burden, you will truly blossom, is what I hear. When you are free from this burden, you will truly come into your own. And you will receive everything that you deserve, whether that's about money, the position you deserve, um, the person, the love you deserve. But you are the Empress. And I also feel like everything that's been happening to you, including this ending, has been about you realizing that you are the Empress. You realizing your worth, your standards, and what you're willing to accept, what you're not willing to accept. So it has led to a huge transformation within yourself. The death of the old you and the, the, the birth of a new you in your power with the Empress. Knowing what you want, knowing what you deserve. The Hierophant, again, this is your card. So you have been dealing with a very difficult karmic lesson. But it's ending. You're graduating. You'll never have to deal with this again. Okay, you've been through it. You've done everything you could possibly do with this. You have no reason to beat yourself up. And know that it is coming to a close and you'll get your freedom back and you will transform um, into who you really are and you will receive everything that you deserve, okay? There's a lot of majors here, so this could happen in any sort of area of your life. It usually happens like overall, everything is affected. Um, if it's about your love life, you transforming also positively impacts your job then because you get a better job and you get a better place to live and all of a sudden everything comes together you know what I mean so that's kind of how it happens so take it as it resonates to you but it is coming to a close and you've done well you have done well and you are about to see the results of that okay you're about to see the rewards of that so let August be the month where everything closes off for you peacefully naturally um, because that's the only option left and start focusing on yourself and thinking about what your your next step forward, where you're going to go, what you're going to do. Because now you know who you are, what you want, what you deserve. And you know that no matter what you do, if something doesn't deserve you, if a person doesn't deserve you, they will never appreciate what you do for them. They can't see it. Okay? I feel like that was part of the lesson. So why bother? You know what I mean? You can see this coming now. You can see the signs now. When it's someone who doesn't deserve you, whether it's a friend, person you love, work, situation, whatever. And you know, you know, you know the signs, you see the signs, you know where to draw the line and not to waste your time. And that what that does is it frees you up to deal with opportunities that are worthy of you, okay? That you do deserve to have. So even though it has been difficult, it has been painful, it has been mind-numbing, it's coming to a close, you've done everything you could with it, you're receiving your rewards for it, so just allow and embrace, okay? As best you can, alright? So let me know what this is about for you guys. If you are dealing with these energies, let me know, okay? I hope it helps, I hope this helps. Um, but yeah, I'm wishing you the best, and... Um, this is, this is a good thing, even though it might not feel like it in the moment, okay? This is a good thing. I'm rooting for you. This is happening because you deserve better, okay? And better is coming in, okay? So have a good month. Looking forward to your thoughts, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.